Nicholas Gentry's performances are a mixture of visual illusions and mind reading. On stage, up close, roving through a crowd, or even hosting an entire event. And the intellectual illusionist and celebrity mentalist joins us once again with another illusion. Nicholas Gentry, it is so great to have you back. You have everyone here in the studio in amazement. So I cannot, I don't want to speak anymore because I want you to do something else. Okay. <laughs> and my watch is still on me. So I'm going to do, <laughs> just keep your eye on it. Yeah. I'm going to do something that I like to call a person, a place, and a thing. Okay. Um, and I think I the cameraman Ian thought of a thing and I had uh, Ariel, your previous guest, who's just off camera over here, she thought of a place. And I'm gonna have you think of a person here in just a moment. Okay. Rene Descartes, the famous French philosopher, believed in the separation of the mind and the body. I'm gonna put that to the test right now because the thought that you're about to have and that these two are already thinking, um, I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to catch it without being able to touch anything physical at all. Okay. Now, Ian, since before the show, you've had a word in your mind. At no point did I ever hear it, um, and at no point was I ever able to see it. There was no way I could know that word, but you've been having it on your mind this entire time, right, Ian? Okay. Um, Does I he say it to you? No, not yet. Uh -oh. I'm gonna try to write it down and see what I can come up with. Okay, hold on for one second. Now, I've got, I've got an idea here. Now, Ian, Ian is... Ian, if he's wrong, you can shake the camera yes, or you can shake the camera no. Shake the camera yes <laughs> if it's right, and no if it's wrong. Yeah. Ian, for the first time, okay, on the count, I don't know, I'm not sure if I got it right. <laughs> I had two guesses here, I crossed out one of them, but I want to affirm for everybody, Ian, at no point did you ever say this out loud, at no point was I able to know what word you've been thinking of. Right, Ian? Right. Okay. On the count of three, say out loud the word that you were merely thinking of. One, two, three. Necklace. necklace. He just said necklace. Necklace. And necklace is on there. <laughs> Pearl was my first guess, but uh, necklace is what I finally <laughs> went with. I feel all right about that. How okay, do you feel about that? Okay, one of three. So that's a thing, okay? I had Ariel, your previous guest, think of a place in the world. Ariel? You've been thinking of a place. I asked you to think of a place before the show even began, and you've been concentrating on that the whole time. Can you say very loudly so it bleeds into the studio mics, at no point was I ever able to see or hear the place that you've been thinking of. You never told anybody, you never wrote it down. Is that correct? Correct. Absolutely correct. Look into my eyes. I'm going to try to, oh, I feel, oh, this one's strong. Uh-huh, yeah. It's probably McDonald's. That's where she works. <laughs> no, she has much more exotic tastes than that, actually. You know, McDonald's is where she works, but she has very exotic tastes when it comes to travel, if I'm right. On the count of three, Ariel, this is a place. We've done a thing. This is a place. <laughs> Rene Descartes was right the first time. There is a separation between mind and body. Let's see if I can catch a piece of your mind right now. On the count of three, say loudly the place you were thinking of. One, two, three. Galapagos. Oh, my gosh. You mean gosh. like this? Gosh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. So how hey, about we get to If me, you're looking though. for a good photo op, this is not a bad one. <laughs> what? Oh, who's, who are these handsome guys, huh? New Christmas card. <laughs> the last but not the least. Chris, at no point before the show, at no point off camera, did I ask you to name or think of any person at all. You did, did not. I? Okay. I am going to ask you to think of just the initials of somebody who you love a lot. Somebody that's not easy for me to look up online. Somebody I wouldn't be able to predict. Okay, I know you love your mother. Look at my eyes, Barbara. I know you love your mother. Oh, yes. Barbara. Yes. Yeah, okay. I know you love her. Yes. A lot. And you've sacrificed a lot for her. Okay. You did a lot for her. But I don't want you to think about her right now. I want you to think about somebody else that I couldn't easily predict. And it's a celebrity? No, no celebrity. Oh. Somebody personal to you. Oh, personal to me. And only the initials. I'm going to just go for the two initials, okay. first and last, okay? Okay. Look into my eyes. Okay, here, hold the pencil, hold the pencil. <laughs> You've got the pencil in your hand now, okay? I'm holding this up here so the camera can see. Fingers splayed. For the first time, say out loud the initials of the I'm person you were thinking of. I'm 
word. It's okay. <laughs> say it to the camera because we can verify. I will say JD. JD. And who is JD? I'm sorry. I should have I should have handed this to you in the first place. Hold this and look. This is the top right here. So when you show it to the camera, that's the top. JD. Who is JD to you? Gene Davis. Gene Davis. I don't I, I don't know who that is, but I know it's somebody who you love a lot. Yes. Show that to the camera. If it says JD, then everybody at home should pass out. Go ahead. You, I, you never you never mentioned this. You never wrote it down or anything. <gasps> Did you? Oh my no, I didn't. God! <laughs> yeah. yeah, I didn't look. I am gonna. Th oh my! I can't. I cannot. <laughs> I, I'm sweating. I have back sweat. It's okay. You I need a hug. <laughs> you need a hug. Come on, man. Let's get a hug. <laughs> Gentrymind.com to learn more. Ashley, I hope you and your family are watching right now. I need to go cool off in a pool or something. You stick around. More with the show when we return. Renee Descartes was right.